Hey there, it's Ingrid. I'm just about to go to acupuncture and I was just thinking about something and I wanted to share it with you. I've been talking a lot about manifestation, alignment, crystalline energy, cellular vibrancy, cellular love and healing and ascension and frequency and really cultivating an energy and a stream of consciousness that allows you to have instantaneous healing, instantaneous manifestation and it's powerful, it is real, it's beautiful, it's poetic, it's potent and it's available to all of us. I'm about to go to acupuncture, I was playing with my phone, that's why I haven't got a title in this yet and it came on and I thought I'd just say hi and I wanted to let you know how powerful you are and I wanted to make sure that you really deeply know in this moment that you can begin to create whatever it is that you truly truly desire. I have been invited to speak at an event in Sydney called Curvy and I'm meeting a lot of amazing thought leaders and women. I hired a stylist for my New York trip and then she introduced me to an amazing uh, photographer and we're talking about doing some really deep juicy conversations but I'm in New York. I today saw someone making a comment about there's people that really fuel your life and bring a lot to your life and there's people that are just dregs and drains and I said that's true but it's also about allowing like do we allow people to take from our energy do we allow people to bring us down because at the end of the day really we create our own lives so what we allow what we perpetuate is what we perpetuate what we allow is what we create and it comes down to us so it's a guy who has a very big profile he has a bigger profile than me and sorry the lights coming in a bit funky here hey and I just reached out to him and because one of my intentions is to really have juicy conversations with lots of thought leaders, uh, basically also in New York around round table discussions. I've always visualized sitting around a table, very high end, uh, high value production, high value content. I actually was in a deal with uh, a big company in New York City and actually met in the lifts. Oh, sorry, I'm really tired today. I've been up since 3 a.m. I was in the lifts and I heard this woman talking about Women's Health magazine. And so I stopped myself and introduced myself to her and it was Maria Rodell, who's one of my friends on Facebook and I don't know if you know her, but she's the chairwoman of Rodell Publications in the United States. So we had a beautiful chat and you know what I'd actually done? I had actually personally emailed Maria when I had a clothing clump company and a revolution that I was starting called Body Love. And so she knew who I was and there we were standing in the lift together. And so I just wanted to share with you about the potency of your intention and reaching out to people because today I reached out to a guy and I said, look, but do you want to have a juicy conversation? Because I'd love to have a conversation with you around what we what we perpetuate, what we allow, how to deal with people that are really negative or the jealousy or the drama so that we can stay in our own lane. Because at the end of the day, no one's doing anything to us. We either you know, buy into it, we unconsciously um, allow it to happen. I have been around some of the most toxic people, hey Deborah, in my life, uh, including key family members, and I have had to learn uh, how to really just truly love myself, be my own parent, be my own mother, be my own lover, be my own cheerleader, and it's made me one fierce as fuck woman, and a woman that knows that at the end of the day, if there is drama in my life or any sort of sense of ugliness or any sense of jealousy or anything, I can just send it love. I know it's usually, it's a projection. It's nothing that I need to fix. And I just stay in my own lane and keep going. I'm not saying I'm perfect with it, but at 42 years of age, through everything that I've been through and how I really understand deeply people and people's wounds, I just don't allow it to throw me off. And if I do, I come back to my love. I come back to my presence. I come back to taking full responsibility for my involvement in that reality, for my involvement in that experience. But I would just like to say to all of you guys, 
As you all know, thoughts become things. You're a powerful diva. Every single thing in your life right now you have co created or co-created with another person. You've participated in it. I also put up another post this week where people complaining about clients, their clients not being in alignment. If you attract a client you don't like, if you attract drama, if you attract somebody that uses you as a, as a taker, on some level, you or I have allowed that and it's usually a wound that needs to be healed. It's something that you need to look at and say, well, how did I participate in this? Oh, you're so amazing, Paula. How did I allow this to happen? I used to be the most full-on overgiver. I would exhaust myself and then think, you know, how did I get myself into this situation? And really at the end of the day, it was my fault. You have to, it's up to you to set boundaries. It's up, up to you to decide how you want to work. It's up to you to decide what you want to do, what you don't do, what your genius is, where you want to spend your time, what type of clients you want, and really be clear. And the clarity, it's just so fascinating. It's so amazing, guys. I know that you do this all the time. When you get so crystal clear, crystalline, crystalline clear, laser lucid clear about your desire and you do a big yes on it, like yes, 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 I deserve and desire. I say yes to the most sublime friendships. I say yes to the most amazing connections with you know, prominent leaders in the world. I say yes to public speaking. I say yes to owning my voice. I say yes to money. I say yes to love. I say yes to intimacy. We create that, as you know. So I'm sending you lashings of love. I, although I'm tired because I've been getting up really early, I feel so, blessed and the question that came to me as I was driving to acupuncture was what are the thoughts that we're thinking when we feel so aligned what are the thoughts that you're thinking when you feel really peaceful for me I'm really in a surrendered place at the moment I'm just okay with myself um, I'm very tr I'm much more trusting of myself I don't feel that there's anything that I really need. Love you, darling, Chantelle. I don't feel like there's anything that I need to fix for anybody else. All I'm doing, with, especially with my clients and my work, is I hold sacred space. I, I speak from my heart, I speak my truth, I channel the messages, and at the end of the day, then that beauty, that woman then rises, whether it's people in my, my students in my group or my private clients, allowing people to step into their own power isn't actually heavy. It isn't a burden. It's actually such a beautiful blessing and it's taken me a long time to really understand how to do that, to not overcompensate, uh, to not try to prove my value, to just be and to be incredibly clear. And you know what's happened is I attract people that get it and it's up to me to communicate it, it's up to me to own it and really at the end of the day it doesn't even need to, so much to be a conversation because it's actually an energy and when you have that energy and that vibration you've done your own inner healing work and a lot of it is childhood wounds anyway it has been for me uh, it just creates that reality for you so the more mother father you know wound restoration and forgiveness work that I've done the more I've been able to really, truly, truly then attract a deeper, more easy, effortless uh, relationships and also growth in my business because there's not so much resistance or heaviness or that upper level uh, kind of struggle that can come. And even when I do have my upper level uh, limits and I'm constantly growing, I see it with reverence. I see it with, wow, this is happening. It's the next level. I wanna look at this. Let's go into this because it's so important. It's coming up because it needs to be resolved. It needs to be healed. It needs to be loved. And rather than having a panic attack like I used to around my emotions, I know how, to, know how to hold my, it's as a sacred healing tool to see it as a gift. Hello, Divine Diva Tracy. So I'm off to acupuncture, getting my hair done, and I will see you later. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. You're amazing. And say yes to instant uh, manifestation. And at the end of that story was that guy said, the guy that I pitched and said, look, let's, let's have a chat. Are you open to it? He was like, amen, sister, I would love to talk to you. I'd love to have a conversation around what we allow and um, cultivating just a beautiful divine relationships with people in our lives and how that actually comes from healing our own wounds so that we can actually allow that in and receive that. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love. Bye.